Well, hello there and happy Sunday to all of my amazing Aquarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Aquarius. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say as we gear up for this full moon. We have two full moons in um, in August 2023. The first full moon was on the 1st of August. That was a full moon in Aquarius. Reminding every everybody to get real serious about your mission here on Earth, right? So it's going to swing back around. We have a moon in Aquarius. You're going to feel on, on Monday, but you're going to really fully feel it on Tuesday, um, the 29th, okay? So I'm going to drop the questions for the moon in uh, Aquarius below this particular video. You already have the, the questions for the moon in Capricorn in the last video. So these questions are supposed to be thought invoking questions to help you to see if you're headed in the right direction, right? So let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say, Aquarius. Let's see what your cards have to say. This reading is for the 27th of August through the 27th of September. And number 27 is very powerful. Two and seven is nine. Nine is um, the number of transformation. The number of transformation, number of transformation. Very, very nice, Aquarius, very nice. All right, so somebody may be celebrating that you have something off of your plate. Here we have the Two of Wands. We also have the Queen of Swords. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Four of Wands. And we also have the Ten of Swords, right? So everything is lining up perfectly perfectly for you, Aquarius. The number 27 is very powerful because the number 27 means that you exude a sense of excellence and authority blended with a humanitarian spirit. Um, 27 is a vibration of courage, love, compassion, and wise leadership, right? So we know that your zodiac sign, Aquarius, is ruled by two planets, right? It's ruled by Uranus and it's ruled by Saturn. Saturn is one of the five planets that's currently retrograde. And Saturn is that planet of, it's a very serious planet, right? So when you think about Saturn, I want you all to think about maturity and authority. I want you all to think about concentration, like really concentrating. Because that, that full moon in Pisces that we're coming up on is, um, and Pisces also is a sign that's ruled by two uh, uh, planets. That moon in Pisces is reminding you that if it's emotionally overwhelming for you, then it's time for you to release it, right? And something that could have been overwhelming for you has been released. That's why you see these energies right here moving to the, like looking forward to the future, like celebrating. You're celebrating that something is over and you're moving on, right? You can finally look to your future because, and not look back. So source is saying, if you've been talking about thinking about traveling, go ahead. If you've been thinking, however you're traveling, right? Because speaking of travel, Mercury is currently retrograded. Mercury is the messenger planet and the communication planet, but it's also connected to travel, technology, knowledge, learning, those kind of things. So the lesson from your past, you know, something that was emotionally draining or burning you out or it left you in a state of confusion or frustration is over. It's a part of your past. So you can now comfortably close out. And this is closed out before the full moon, right? Aquarius, so whatever it was that was kind of burning you out or confusing you or leaving you in a state of whatever, it's over. So I see you feeling like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulder. So now somebody can be forward facing and get ready for new and exuberant love to come across your path or focusing on a new job because it's, up, up, it's opportunities coming your way. So... Here we have the Queen of Swords and also the Ten of Swords. And whatever it is you said or did, Aquarius, you were not afraid to stand alone. Like somebody really got serious about creating very firm boundaries and ready to enforce those boundaries. And so you're, you're not afraid of being like this. So I see you all speaking up and I see a lot of opportunities coming your way. Like I said, I see somebody traveling, making new friends, possibly love relationship. I see somebody also moving. So congratulations into moving into your new office or moving into your new house. But the fact that that's, that planet Saturn, which is the planet of authority and maturity, is some, a planet of concentration, structure and order, 
patience. This is also what got somebody to a celebratory state right here because Saturn is also a very patient planet. It's the planet of discipline, authority, creating limits. It's a very serious planet. It's very formal. It's a traditional planet. It's, it's a planet of rules, hard work, mature responsibility, and also dignity. So like I said before, you are leaving certain situations in particular, two situations in particular, the burnout behind you, right? And so now you can focus on continue planting seeds to grow your money and also to grow your legacy, which is a very wealthy legacy. There's a lot of money attached to that Aquarius. So hopefully that helps somebody. Remember when the moon is in Aquarius, um, when the moon is in Aquarius, Aquarius is a sign that detaches us from every day. It distances us from the known reality and makes us sort of really spread our wings in, in, in our minds to just dream bigger, to think bigger, right? And so as we move in towards this full moon, allow learn how to learn how to go with the flow. Moon energy is feminine energy and you all are divine masculine signs. So source is saying, learn how to relax. Learn how to let that information come in, Aquarius, and so and go directly to source first because you got a lot of opportunities coming your way. And like I said, to travel, you want to don't always want to be in give, give, give mode where you're not even in where you're blocking your own blessings. And so somebody has learned how to really, really trust source through a situation, through a particular situation. So congratulations to you, Queen of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Moon card, the Hang Woman, the High Priestess, and Five of Coins. High Priestess, um, and then the Moon card. And so Source is saying somebody's Moon sign could be Cancer here. Somebody's Moon sign could be Cancer, could be highly intuitive, or you could have Cancer somewhere high up. So the primary focus, Aquarius, since the, we got five planets retrograde, two of them are generational. Neptune, uh, which is one of Pisces ruling planets, and, um, and Pluto, which is furthest from the sun, your sun sign, like furthest from your your creative life force and your life, your purpose, your, your purpose is helping you to break generational cycles, chains, and curses, right? Um, Pluto is that zodiac sign that's like, it, it's going to be hard for people who are kind of sort of fixate, like this, that has a problem with change, right? So if you notice how the moon moves in and out, it waxes and wanes, but it moves in and out. It moves from uh, masculine to feminine, to masculine to feminine, to masculine to feminine. That's why in that one and a half to two days where it's moving through zodiac signs, you may feel one way about a situation earlier that day. By the end of the day, you can feel totally different about the same exact situation. Like what in the world? You literally can feel like you got 12 different personalities. Right? But anyway, source is saying to you, now that you're on the other side of a long and arduous journey, you're not going back through that again, meaning that your somebody's faith in source self has been really, really tested. And so source is saying you can remain happy, charismatic, and free moving forward, right? And not, not, and not feeling like you're left out of something. This is how somebody used to be kind of sort of left out. So essentially you are in your vault. You went from five of coins or pentacles to 10 of pentacles. So it's just saying, hang in there. This is attached to Neptune. Like I said before, Neptune is that planet of escapism. It's that planet where you can, it's the planet of, um, uh, imagination and transcendence. And so I see somebody now using that energy, that fire, that will right there, that solar plexus chakra to focus on, um, saying, I will travel more. I will get out and meet more people. I will stop being afraid to apply for certain positions and certain jobs. I will do this, right? I can do this. I have done this and I will do X, Y, and Z, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius. So again, congratulations, kudos and congratulations to you all, Aquarius, as we get ready to prepare for this full moon, as we get ready to prepare for this full moon. Uh, Two of Cups, we have the Four of Swords, everything is fine. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Judgment card, and also the Knight of Swords. Judgment is in your favor, so if somebody has some kind of court situation, judgment is in your favor. Your ancestors are clapping and cheering for you because somebody is definitely in their light, right? And so being in your light, you already know what's trying to come up the back, right? In terms of like uh, energies trying to resurface, Exes, ex friends, ex loved ones, ex whomever trying to res the energy trying to resurface. So source is saying to you, get your rest. Everything is fine. Your past is behind you. Whoever was wishing and harming, it already backfired. So you don't have anything to worry about, Aquarius. So like I said, you went from like this right here 
maybe nervous. What is somebody up to? They try X, Y, and Z. But people are really starting to see how powerful you really are, Aquarius. Why? Because you're in your light, right? There's that protection in your light, right? You're working directly on your mission here on earth. Like I said, the moon in Aquarius reminds everybody that we're here with a mission that is far larger than we think. It means that we're here with a bigger purpose and a responsibility to use our gifts and talents responsibly, you know, um, and, and, and as a contribution to our, you know, to our community and society at large. You know, you're not just living your life for yourself or growing and healing just for your own good. It just means that you're transforming, you know, um, your transformation, Aquarius, is needed here for future life on Earth, which is very, very powerful, right? And I do see soulmate energy coming across your, your path to help you to accomplish that. So like I said, a lot of opportunities that come across your mind, so stay away from the negative thinking, negative self-talk. Somebody still needs to do the mirror work. And that mirror work is looking at yourself in the mirror because you don't have any competition. It's you versus you. I am better than I was five minutes ago, yesterday, last week, whatever. And what is it that you're speaking into that mirror? Because that's a portal as well, right? And what do you what what do you see coming back? Right? Here we also have the two of pentacles. An additional stream of income is also coming across somebody's path. So Aquarius, like I said, don't worry so much about what you're leaving behind, who's, you know, watching you, who's stalking. Stay in your light. Source of has all that other stuff taken care of. Like I said, you left a lot of things behind. A lot of people think that you're harshly judging them. You are not harshly judging them. You're really in your purpose as a humanitarian. See, a lot of people who are thinking that you harshly judging them, Aquarius outside of your, they're, now that they're outside of your universe, don't realize that you were actually looking out for them. You may have seen something on their life that they didn't even want to see. It, and there's so many moving parts to this Aquarius. They could have been under a spell. They could have been battling their own demons. It could have been anything, but just you being in your light, your unique self as an Aquarius and deeply caring about people and seeing things, right? Somebody could have psychic energy or be all the clairs, right? Source is saying you were able to foresee things, right? Not only from the past, but you can also see it in the future. You can almost like see history repeating itself. Like, let me give somebody an example. Let's say, for instance, you have an adult child who, who is dating somebody. Let's just give somebody an example. And that adult child may have thought that you or somebody they were dating may have thought you, Aquarius, didn't like them together, but you were seeing something that maybe the adult child didn't see. Maybe there was a, a spirit from the other side of the family connected to them. You know, like it could have been an incubus or succubus spirit attached to them that would have made that other person's life a living hell, right? So does that mean that you didn't like either one of them together? No, you just saw something, right? That's or Or you have this ability to see, this is what I'm saying right here, you also have the ability to see into it. This is a, a, a level of empathy that people are not understanding about you. They don't have an understanding. So they think that you're harshly judging them when actually you see what they either don't want to see or they just can't see. That's not one of their gifts and talents that they have. And so continue operating from that space, Aquarius, where you're operating as a humanitarian and don't give a whole lot of energy into who likes you, who doesn't like you, who has an issue with you and all that other stuff. Don't even operate from that space because really that humanitarian in you is actually saving lives. So stay away from the negative thinking. Stay away from the negative thinking who's wishing harm and all that. Here we have the two of pentacles, the seven of pentacles. The, there it is, the emperor card, the knight of pentacles, two of wands, and also the seven of pentacles. See, this emperor energy right here cares more about being respected than just being liked. This is, I want to be everybody's friend. No, you want to be respected, right? And so it doesn't mean that you're intentionally going out being a jerk and trying to hurt people. But source is saying you can look, when you can see... See, the, the judgment card is, in some cards, you see the person's, person lifting up out of their, their spirit is lifting up out of their flesh, out of their body. They're seeing things at a higher frequency. So they have it sort of, if I had to talk 3D for a second, like an aerial view of situations, right? So, you know, like if you're in a crowd and you're at an elevated point, you can kind of sort of look out over the crowd and see everything. You can see back further than people that's on this frequency here, right? And so Source is saying, continue working on your craft. Continue working on, you know, your spiritual gift doing the inner work because it's harvest time for you. 
double harvest time as a matter of fact it's double harvest time for you here we have the two of cups again sources continuing to enlarge your territory and your community aquarius and your influence Source has already approved you for something, more money coming across your path. So like I said, increase, increase, increase. Two of wands came out twice. A lot of traveling here could be some cruise stuff going on for you. You know, you celebrating, um, you celebrating traveling and new opportunities coming your way. So Aquarius, it's all good because of your obedience to source, right? When the seeds that you planted was, like I said, was in faith. Because your default, Aquarius, is to give, 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 give. Always do something. Trying to help people. Even when, when you don't know whether people, you know, receive your your help or not. You, your default is to. And that may not have worked out so well for people in the past. Especially if it came across as enabling. Right? Especially if it came across as enabling, Aquarius. So, like I said before, um, Aquarius moon energy is masculine energy. It's mind plus focused action for Aquarius. So your mind is always going like this wheel. Tick, 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 tick. Always thinking, thinking, thinking. Always thinking about how I can take action. And Source is saying to you, it's okay to go sit down somewhere sometimes. It really is. It's okay to go sit down and calm your brains. Like it's, some, it's okay to sit down and do something that nurtures you, Aquarius, so that it doesn't come across as very giving very much busybody. You don't want to give off that type of energy, right? Especially if it's if it's overwhelming other people, right? And, it's, and it could ultimately, ru you know, ruin your relationships. So that's why I see, you know, you all getting out there, learning how to be in that receiving mode. La Bruja. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Here we have nine of wands, ace of swords. We also have the six of wands, the strength card, and the death card. Yeah. So death and judgment, right? Is connected to Scorpio. Remember, before this moon moved into Sagittarius, it was in Scorpio. And so somebody may find themselves, you know, sweating it out, working it out. You know, like if you got to do something, okay, go to the gym, develop some kind of program where you're sweating it out, like getting it out, drinking more water, being a little bit more health conscious because you need all of that with your gifts. It's not just you being spiritually gifted in unhealthy eating or unhealthy practices, right? Engaging in unhealthy relations with people, that kind of stuff, right? Being in the aura of unhealthy spaces, if you can help it. It's really a complete mind, body, and soul shift for somebody. That's how serious somebody is in getting it together. So Source is saying to you, get laser focused, learn how to control your reactions to things. Because you're no longer in the wilderness. You're on the other side of that. This is the nine of wands here. So source is like, get it under control. Because again, your default as a thinker and you're, you have this focus action, right? So, and there's nothing incremental about that energy, that focus and that I got to take action. Laser focus, I got to take action. But you're not a, you're not a wild animal. You're not a beast, Right. And so there's a lot of energies that want you to react to things, but Source is saying you don't have to react to anything. You're the smartest sign in the Zodiac. You can think it through, right? So there's definitely some energies that's trying to use some form of witchcraft on you. It's not working. They can just stop themselves right now. Here we have the Ace of Swords. You don't even have to think about it because you're in breakthrough mode, not break down. That's why Source says to you, everything is fine. Everything is fine, right? Nine of Wands came out twice, right? Again, you're on the other side of a long and arduous journey that you are not going back. Uh, you're not going back to that. And I see you being victorious at that, right? And if there's loved ones that you feel like could possibly be in situations, always lead with love. Love trumps everything. That's what a lot of people forget. Nobody wants to be told that they're stupid, dumb. How come you don't know this? How come you haven't figured such and such out? People like to be empowered with the information that you share with them, but they want to be gently led into their light, not forcibly kicked in the back. <laughs> they don't want to be just like whole foot just stuck in their back, you know, kicking them into the next, you know, the next phase of their lives. So somebody is learning. Somebody is definitely learning how to gently, you know, pray for people send out good when i say pray for people i'm talking about sending good energy out into the universe you know have telepathic conversations with people you know talk to most high source 
up on people's behalf, right? Tossing frustration, anger, reactive energy into a burning bowl as it relates to people, places, and things. So you all are learning, Aquarius. Like I said before, there's a lot of wealth here. That source is saying to you, let me make sure I got everything. That source is saying to you that it, it's it's already here. It's not it's like it's not like it's coming. It's already here. Aquarius is already here. So let's see what else we got going on here for you. Let's see what else before we go ahead and close this out. Let's get ready to close this out, Aquarius. Let's get ready to close it out. So you got it under control. You, you got it under control. Like I said, I see a breakthrough. Um, and some of you all, when I say breakthrough, breakthroughs do feel like breakdowns. They feel like the breakdown in communication, breakdown in emotions, breakdown in ideas, breakdown in, you know, your thought process. And so, but there's a breakthrough in how you think, right? And how you think, right? And how you think. Somebody may have come from a family that get, got fired up easily, you know, ready to, you know, put on their Tim's, lace up, go outside, fight, whatever the case may be. But you are a thinker, Aquarius, and also, like they said, focused action. So it's just saying, <clears throat> as a thinker, you can think your way out of any situation, right? Think your way through or out of si any situation. And so using that thought, that brain power to think about planting seeds moving forward to as we get forward to this this closer and closer to this full moon energy let's see what we have here we have the jack of hearts we also have the two of clubs we have the ace of clubs we have the joker card we have the two of spades and also the three of spades yeah so source is saying um we talk about looking for a savior, you are, the savior is within, talking about saving your emotions, right? Protecting your emotions because nobody's coming to save your emotions. And that's why having a soulmate energy in your life, you all may be highly intuitive, very sensitive to energies. And that could cause you to be reactive because water is reflect. I mean, it's yeah, reflective. And so your energy can reflect the same hurt that somebody is projecting onto you. So if somebody's crying, you getting upset, mad, or if somebody is laughing, it can make you laugh harder. You know, it's like a, that, that mirroring kind of energy. And that's why when you do your mirror work, you're speaking to yourself as a person who has complete control of your emotions because nobody is coming to save you. Once it's out, it's already out there in the universe, right? It's already out there in the universe. And so source is saying to you two of spades and three of spades, um, You may have had on blindfolds before, but you don't have on blindfolds now, you know, and that could have been deeply heartbreaking and deeply disappointing. And again, when we're talking about talking about loved ones here, there could be loved ones that had on blindfolds and they could be heartbroken and deep disappointment. They didn't want to see certain things either. Are they going to come back to you and say you were right, Aquarius? Most, most of the time, no, but that's okay. You can still send out good energy on their behalf as well. We also have the two of wands came out three times. So there's a lot of opportunities coming your way, Aquarius. A lot of opportunities where you can use that inspiration, that motivation, and that fire for good and not allow that overthinking of a situation to cause you to be frustrated. So this is a person who is intentionally choosing, you know, like I said before, tapping into your strength. What is your life purpose? Even though you care more about being respected than liked, you're not allowing people to rattle you easily, right? Here we also have the, um, your third eye is also wide open. Third eye, wide open, wide open, wide open. You see things before it happens. And so you're definitely not going to make foolish decisions, Aquarius. Definitely not in that space of making any foolish decisions. All right, so, all right. Again, we have the eight of hearts. Source wants you to stay laser focused on your life purpose. That number eight, that top window, you know, is and, and because we have all the, so the king of pentacles here, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. Source is saying it's going to be really important for you to notice energies that are either succumb to passive and powerless behavior because their number eight is out of alignment. And also people who are bullies, their eight is not out of alignment. So those people will do anything to get money, to get money from you. And I mean anything. Um, and so you can put it, whatever anything means under that list, they'll sell people out. They'll, they'll sabotage you. They'll lie to you, lie on you, lie about you, whatever, right? Do anything for it. So you have to make sure 
and your major and your minor arcana, you are you are super um, laser focused in taking action. Since we're talking about the moon and Aquarius, and um, and always being aware of your the energies around you and how it affects the affects you within. So you're getting up. I see somebody getting up every day, single day, setting your intentions. Also doing your mirror work. You know, saying what it, whatever you need to say to self in that portal, um, and that reflecting coming back at you, right? And seeing anything else because a lot of information also comes through to you while you're in the mirror. If you just really are you, if you're quiet, messages are also coming through to you all from loved ones, from ancestors downloads are being made so learn how to be in receiving mode as well right um whether you're listening to meditation music while you're doing you know in the work in the washing your face you know cleansing your face brushing your teeth or whatever in the mirror you're listening to meditation music that information is coming through so pay attention be pay attention right so i'm saying wish fulfillment for you I'm looking at the nine of hearts, the five of hearts, and also the king of hearts. And so source is saying you're king of your emotions. You're a very wise person, very compassionate and very wise person. And I'm seeing wish fulfillment for you. So, but every time you look back at the past, source is going to show you what you need to see in the past and give you an opportunity to go ahead and put a manhole cover over the past. And this, the past is over. The past is over. So you don't have to go back to a lower frequency of just remembering all... When you're remembering, you don't want to be fixated on bad memories, right? Nor do you really want to be fixated on good memories. It's your past, right? And remember, all time is relative anyway. So it's just for the purpose of learning and bringing things forward. We also have the four spades here. So source definitely wants you to get your rest. Definitely get your rest about two situations in particular. So there you go, Aquarius. Let's close it out. Let's get ready to close it out, Aquarius. Let's go. Again, I'm going to put the questions for the moon and Aquarius below. Um... Aquarius uh, moon opens the portal um, for a new vision for living, working, and creating um, for that couple of days, right? So for that couple of days before we get to, like I said, you're going to feel the effects of the moon in Aquarius on the 28th and on the 29th, right? So for those couple of days, that's when you want to start focusing on a new vision. Your, your zodiac sign is ruled by two planets. Uranus, which is the planet of um, uh, change, liberation, and freedom. So somebody's like, okay, I'm changing courses here. So I want to focus on that portal, that new vision that of living, working, creating, um, technology, innovation, collaboration, right? Uh, working together with people, you know, creating some kind of radical change, right? And um, just recognizing that you can only get but so far by yourself. I'm, I'm interested in creating with other people. That's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius. So a new start is coming. That's right, a new start is coming. So I just keep you all um, up to date as to what moon phase we're in, right? And I, like I said, we're heading towards this um, full moon in Pisces coming up on the 30th. You'll feel it on the 30th, a couple of days before the 30th. So you already, if you're watching this on, if you're watching this on the 26th or 27th, you're already feeling the effects of it because the, the dreams are becoming even more vivid. You're becoming a little bit more sensitive, all those things, right? So here we have milk and butter, 25. Like the silk off one's flesh, I am the giver. I am your eternal, right? So yeah, the source is saying to you a lot of great things are coming your way, Aquarius. So prepare yourself, prepare yourself mentally, prepare yourself. You know, somebody is definitely in their gifts. Um, and, um, and so you want to pay attention to that. You want to pay attention to that. So, yeah. So when you think about, when you think about like everything, everything symbolizes something, right? So when you think about um, milk and you think about like, uh, it's, it's the fluid of eternal life. It represents fertility. It also represents abundance, right? And um and when you think about butter, you think about blessings, sustenance, wealth, right? So sources like, you know, like the land of milk and honey 
or the land of milk and butter, right? And so source is saying, that's where I'm trying to put you. I'm trying to put you using your gifts. Your gifts are making room for you, Aquarius. And so it, it's best for you to learn how to, as a healer, looking at the cards here, to put death to that ego. I got to edge God out. I got to be reactive. I got to be in fight mode. Even if you came from that kind of environment, I got to be in fight mode. I got to lace up and I got to go handle a situation. Source is saying it's better for you to see a situation ahead of time so that you are there for people to help guide them through to the answer instead of you being in reactive mode. Yeah. So uh, let's close this out. Let's close this out. Let's close this out. Let's close this out. And somebody is definitely, you know, tr they tried to perform some kind of witchcraft or something. Um, and they and people won't stop trying. Stay in your light. You know exactly who they are. They're afraid that you know who they are. But guess what? You already know. So, you know, it, that's already been exposed. Here we have gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. That's right. That's right. So somebody is definitely, you know, trying to project themselves onto you by saying that you're a witch. But I mean, whatever. You know, like I said, it's outside of your universe. You don't care what people are thinking and what they're saying. So doesn't really matter if you want to rent space and they, if they want you to rent space in their head, Aquarius, hey, listen. That's on them. Anyway, so like I said, prepare for this. Prepare for this. Prepare for a very, very, very wealthy lifestyle um, with tradition. And like I said before, as you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses, don't forget to create a dream journal. See, that number two right here is about relationships. And so source, you have a better relationship with source. That's why somebody can now sit back and just, you know what? I'm sending out good energy into the universe. If it's a negative thought about people, places, and things coming across my mind, I can go ahead and toss it into a burning bowl and trust source because I already know it's taken care of. So I can move on from whatever, whoever or whatever, I can move on from it. So good, 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 good. Number eight, I am successful. There's that number eight again, right? So that top window for the number eight is your spiritual vision. How do you see your life? What's the vision you have for your life? And write it and make it plain, right? That lower eight, this lower window for the number eight is your good product and service. And it creates an infinite amount of resources for you, Aquarius. So, and I see you being successful at that. But I see you also being successful at people whose number eight is out of alignment, like being able to spot when it's out of alignment. Those are the people, like I said before, you're not pouncing on them like a wild animal, like a, like a, where's the card? Like a wild lion. People who have succumbed to powerless and passive behavior, you're being that light to help them through it, but within reason, right? So if people are cussing you out and telling you, I didn't ask you to do all of that, you know what? Let me back up. I'm not responding to that. I'm not going to react. Excuse me. I'm not reacting to that. My response is I need to go ahead and close out the cycle and move on because people who feel powerless and well, both, both are powerless, whether they're the bully side, the puppet, the puppeteer side or the puppet side, they both feel they're both at number eight is out of alignment, right? So you are successful at being able to spot it, right? Because you clearly are in your purpose. Your talent for setting and reaching goals, Aquarius, is like no other. You are self-sufficient and you're capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. So you're creating an infinite amount of resources because you're in your light and you're staying laser focused in obedience and all of that. You're not reactive. You know how to keep that. But trust and believe. People know. If that chain pop, it's on and popping. <laughs> but but again, you have a, a, a bigger purpose. So again, you already know sources. Source can handle, but, you know, like I said in the beginning of your reading, the you in the past would have been like this, like this right here. I'm ready to turn somebody upside down on their head. But the you today is already, you. you already know how karma works. You're not even worried about it. That's why... You know, people who are still on a lower frequency and operating in their flesh, they don't get it. They don't understand. And that's okay. They'll get it one day. Um, last card. Last card. 
Here we go. Affirmations for letting go. I release what I can't control. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. I am weightless, free from burdens. I am shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is a helpful feedback. So somebody is definitely letting go of that energy from your past, you know, that energy, you know, because that has caused a lot of that reactive behavior has caused a lot of when you look at it today, you may say unnecessary lessons, right? But it was absolutely necessary when you think about generationally how you were conditioned to be, you know, how you were conditioned to be. For instance, if you were raised by bullies, you may have felt like that was the only way to get, you know, that was only, that was an only, the only way to get um, results, but now somebody as a healer is looking at things very differently. You can't edge God out, that ego, right? You can't edge God out. You can go directly to source within and send out energy into the universe that you want to come back to you and now Aquarius. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. I'll put the questions for the moon in Aquarius below as we get prepared for this full moon in Pisces, all right? That's what I have for you, Aquarius, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.